Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to episode four of Eternal Darkness, and it is Requiem. Zelda run. We're finishing it tonight. This is it. This is the final episode of this run. So we can see it takes four episodes <laughs> to do this in uh, in like story mode, and we'll see. You know how long it takes when you do it a little faster. Maybe three. Hardly two, but we'll see. Hi, Lupka. Hello, all sisters and mothers and brothers. And all the cousins. <laughs> Good to see you there. Where were we? We finished Raziel's. Uh, it's, look at the... Raziel! You can't fool me. It's fucking Raziel. So, we finished Raziel's uh, chapter. <laughs> what was his name? Peter? Peter Jenkins? No, wait. <laughs> Damn it, sign up. Sign up, put that in my head. It's not... It says Peter... Jacobs, maybe. Jacobs, I think. An old coin marked in a peculiar manner. It has sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. So yeah, she got Peter's lucky coin. Oh god, this game is so smooth. What did we play? Last, I think the last thing we played was Sims. Yeah, Sims 2. Like, it doesn't have this frame rate look the, you can't see it I'm sorry again half frame rate sorry you get the scraps <laughs> you can't see what I'm seeing on the TV but damn I am looking into getting a better capture card she is she is going crazy now like Alex look at that you have to tilt your head to see it <laughs> oh <laughs> here we go we got a two minutes of Sean Connery time <laughs> hello push <Poche. laughs> you know the first time I saw him Say that <laughs> in that what was that? Where which James Bond movie is pushing the lower from? I can't remember, but still. We we, we watched it recently, Shash. Which which movie was that? <laughs> which movie was Hello Pushy from? Like yeah, first time I saw him <laughs> I saw him say that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was just like watching the movie and doing something off and I said, 
Hello, Boucher. Like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm touching my shell. Look, it's a nice shell. <laughs> Alright, let's move. We're investigating. Help me, oh! Please help me. Is this for you? Oh, yeah, this is for you. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a sanity effect for a second there. I'm sorry. I got scared and I lost my action for a second. Hello. Hello, Sherman Pushy. I can't get <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Felicia Garland, I guess. Alex has found the basement key. Alex is also batshit crazy. A small, antiquated key somewhat rusted by the ravages of time. This is the key to the basement of the Roybas mansion. Quite. Well, let's move on. We have the... That knock will never stop being scary, I swear to God. Every time it starts doing that... <laughs> it's very unpleasant. Ah, the basement key. Yes. The thing we just checked and we're about to use. Yes. I was just testing you. Oh shit. Seems that we're tripping balls. Where the fuck do I want to go to now? What is going on? Okay, game, you got me. You actually, I thought this was gonna be next. That's not the right chapter. And for the right character. Oh shit. Should I heal her sanity? No. <laughs> well, that's the best Sean Connery you get. <laughs> he did sound like a grandpa. <laughs> A pump-action shotgun hangs from a plaque. Blake mounted on a dusty wall. Slow, Grandpa. Well, he 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 never rushed talking. I think. Am I? Do we? Are we talking about the same actor? We got the shotgun. Which shotgun do we have? The Winchester Model 1300 Defender is quite possibly one of the finest pump-action shotguns available. That <laughs> sounds odd doing it like this. The unique slide action operates a rotating bolt and unlocking its recoil assisted, is a recoil assisted, making it very fast and smooth to cycle. <laughs> Come on, sis! <laughs> you try to make me do these accents all the time! <laughs> Come on! Where is the next way? Where, where is the next thing I have to go? Ah, we have a door here now. <laughs> Zdravo, Natsa. Uika kaže zdravo. Kako je Natsa? Come on, there's a hatch here. A brass framework hangs from the ceiling, cradling the globe in the observatory above. It seems to have been modified. Now part of some elaborate locking mechanism. Zdravo <laughs> Lutko. <laughs> Towards the TV, eh? <laughs> this is kind of... I can't focus like this. <laughs> So apparently, this is a hatch that, what, that Grandpa probably put there when he was running to the chopper. Oh God, do I have a weapon? I'm gonna punch him in the face. I seem to be going mad. <laughs> Alex has found some shotgun shells. I'm trying to help you, Alex, come on. Hear that? The fuck is that? Well, I guess we'll see a lot of new shit with her. Totally crazy this time. Oh, 
Oh, like we're well armed now. We're gonna need all this. The safe is large and old-fashioned, made in the days when security was derived from the heavy metal construction, rather than secure locking mechanisms. It doesn't look like it would be too difficult to break the combination, if only Alex had a stethoscope to hear the tumblers more clearly. If only Alex wasn't batshit crazy, like what the... Fragile, okay. I was like, what's that red writing? Ah! Open the fuse box. Examine. A fuse box and circuit breaker array is situated upon the wall. All but one of these D fuses are intact. The absence of this one is suspicious and until it is replaced the circuit connected to it is useless. Okay, so I thought I'm still in examine. <laughs> Let's do use a lucky penny. Alex jams the lucky penny in place of the missing fuse. Come on, Fuse, I'm trying to fix you here. We have power. Charge. A well-maintained fuse box and circuit breaker array is situated upon the wall. A lucky penny is jammed in place of one of the fuses closing the circuit. Ah. <laughs> no, I, I can't imagine Arnold saying some of these things, you know. Like, when, in which situation would Arnold examine a fuse box? Like, what movie would that be? <laughs> Let's save. Come out, I'm trying to save. Yes. La la la. <laughs> it's not okay. It's never okay. <laughs> Where was that room? What the fuck is up with the picture? Oh, that's new. Right? It wasn't like this. A hellish depiction of some monstrous landscape, a blood-colored sky hangs over a dementedly surreal land in which flayed skins flap in an acidic breeze. What mind could have conceived this? Okay, that's new for me, like that's, like, that's skin, literally. That's new. Is this sanity effect? Or is it just like... This one's the same. What about the statue? Is it still looking at me? Looking rather low there, statue. My eyes are up here. <laughs> okay. Ah, that, that's where the room was. Why did only the, that picture change? Did they change it to, be, to spook me? Like, yeah, this is gonna scare her. Change the pictures. All right. A page from the Journal of Maximilian Royvis. All right. Another letter from Max. This is a page from Maximilian Royvis' journal. It reads... I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learned to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. That's... Ugh. A very unpleasant worldview. Why can't I go here? What is this supposed to be like? Is that a... Is that a toilet? No, there's a toilet there, like a modern one. An antique medicine cabinet hangs on the wall. Its wood is stained from years of use and the ambient humidity of the room. Should Alex open the cabinet? Yes. The choir time. Hidden away in the medicine cabinet is a chapter from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Should Alex retrieve? Yes. Oh, no, it's in, in the present, it's like this, yeah. Here we go. A legacy of darkness. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. Well, don't be in a hurry. <laughs> Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful.
Mercy has no place in this world. It is only a place for me. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Pray to me anyway. Ugh. All right, you know who this is, right? That's all Gramps. Well, his chapter, A Legacy of Darkness. We're gonna read. Let us go. Nineteen fifty two. There's Gramps when he was young. In psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believed that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. Not... nothing. I intended to find their secrets. We just started, Carter. Good to see you. Welcome, man. Uh, we just started. We s you missed the uh, servant going. I can't take the can't get the blood out. So Edward starts with liquid courage, which is a flask, a small flask of the old sauce, liquid courage, a magical elixir to power one's spirit in the face of adversity. Bottoms up. Using this will regain sanity. So, kind of makes sense. Why not? <laughs> Have a sip. You'll be sane, er. Dr. Edward M. Roivas. Alright, sis. <laughs> I mean, really, this is so cool. Oh, wait, wait. Can I talk? Yeah. Politely, she asks Edward if there is anything she can do for him. Oh, look at that. A journal of family history rests on the mantle as if used recently. You just read it! Are you fucking... You just held it in your hand. Edward has found a historical journal. You're like, literally seconds ago he was reading it. Ah, uh, okay, the text hasn't changed. An old musty book, bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the early history of the Roivas family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Should I forget it? Out? Y yes, wait. Oh, it's like a quote. Qu Why is there a quotation mark after that? I guess that's a typo. Yes. Minute hand of a clock. All right. What else is here? I'm gonna go to other places before I put the minute hand in there. Don't run. Because running doesn't get exam. These books contain the history. Ah, okay. We know this. So this is the family history aisle. Ma'am, do you mind? Oh, look. There's no... The, oh, so he built the other room. Yeah, he, he worked... A lot to collect all of this. To prepare Alex. This part of the library is reserved for the entertaining of the house's more scholarly guests. A simple yet elegant layout affords quiet drink and conversation. Well, that looks like a nice place to hang out, really. In front of the fireplace. Mmm. A thick layer of grime on the window prevents Edward from looking out into the garden. Despite the efforts of the servants Edward hires, the mansion continues to sink into decay. So yeah, they mentioned that already. It's very hard to keep it clean. The mansion just keeps getting dirty on its own. 
Edward's curiosity can't leave the mystery alone. He drives himself to uncover the truth behind the mansion and his ancestors. Fair enough, Edward. What's he saying? A large carriage clock sitting on the foyer table. Beautifully crafted, it, but it appears to be stuck with the hands permanently set to 333. Okay, that hasn't changed in 50 years now. Same. Not much is changing in the mansion itself. As Edward nears, the servant stops mumbling to herself and asks him if he thinks the weather will clear up before the solstice. Edward finds the reference to the solstice rather odd and ponders its significance. Oh. Okay, that's the same. What about the phone, though? We don't care about the phone? He doesn't care about the phone. Yeah, these things. I'm gonna need these. And some source of light. Does he have a flashlight? I think it's just Michael. The last guy that has the flashlight. A grandiose kitchen fireplace with all the amenities of modern life. It hasn't been used in quite some time. Oh, with all the amenities, yeah, okay, I read it well. The servant notices Edward's presence and comments on the weather. Idle chit-chat. Yeah, that's that's what I said too, like, clocks can't do 666, 666 so you gotta do the <laughs> lowest common denominator that can be spelled out on the clock. Now you could do 222, but it would just be bonkers. So not the lowest, but, you know, the most logical de denominator. <laughs> Oh, we already have the piano. Edward has never learned the piano, but that has never stopped him from hammering away at the keys now and again. It is very therapeutic. Perhaps one day he would learn it properly. He wouldn't. <laughs> we know that. Poor Edward. Oh, hello there. Puttering around with a crockery, the servant informs Edward that the table has been set for him just as he likes. An antique cavalry saber mounted on a display stand gleams in the moonlight. Yeah, we're gonna need this. What about that table, huh? Is this for me? Some stew? Oh, nice, nice lightning timing. A bizarre decorated mantle frames the fireplace, adorned with odd sigils arranged in a circle. Of fashion, it is unlike most of the art in the house. Perhaps this has some special significance. Like, we know that by now. Imagine just like... When the lightning strikes, you just see someone in the corner. Yeah, I can't see that. Alright. I'm gonna leave him. He's trying to clean and I'm just... In his way. Let's see. Door is locked. Okay, so we don't have the basement key this time either. We gotta remember you can't can't examine while you're sprinting. That's not a portrait. I guess I can look down here. No, you can't do that this time here. Huh. Another portrait. But I can go upstairs. But yeah, Carter, this picture changed in the present to like a demonic landscape. I've never seen that before. I don't know if it was a sanity effect because Alex's sanity is pretty low. Or Pius just hired someone to <laughs> go change the photo, the, the, the picture on the wall. Like that's gonna, the painting, that's gonna scare her shitless. She's gonna abandon this. Oh, it was, huh? A lustrous landscape reflecting the spirit of the American colony colonists. This painting predates the 18th century. A priceless, priceless treasure. Edward has taken care of it by brushing off dirt with rubbing alcohol. Oh God, that's why, that's why it's smudged in the present. I remember it, I had to check the painting in all three uh, time periods. So like in Max's time, he's like, yeah, this is the, this is our fa family heirloom. 
you know, I'm taking care of it. In the present, Alex was like, this is a, this painting's shitty. I don't know why it's here, but now we see why it's shitty. <laughs> He's been cleaning it with <laughs> rubbing alcohol. Oh God, Edward, you destroyed the painting. Okay, that dude's not happy. Just a lot of, bunch of paintings. That's all we have. Ah, you know, no reason to sneak. Shotgun shells, elephant gun ammunition. This room has become a second late night study. Edward has grown accustomed to the ancient feel of this Civil War themed room and feels he can concentrate quite well in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the real, that's how it actually looks like. Courteously, the servant asks if Edward is in good health. Oh, we're gonna... So this is... We can miss this. So just gotta be... Gotta... Gotta save this guy when time comes and he'll give me the key to this. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet. Itself a priceless, priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the windows to get inside. But where did he leave the key? Yeah, like... Yeah, like... <laughs> When the darkness strikes, all these creatures are chasing you. You're just gonna be like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna find the key. I, I don't. I really don't want to break the glass. <laughs> A journal of family history rests on the bench. Oh, another historical journal. An old musty book bound in blah blah blah. blah. The recent history of the royalist family, going back perhaps 150 years. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Oh, okay. Our hand. Good thing I examined. Don't punch the shelf. This is just a painting. A Spartan bed, vaguely fashioned after colonial trends, offers a small comfort to the weary. It hasn't been slept in for a long time, and that in itself is a testament to its luxury. It's nice to have a guest room. Okay, that's it for this room. What about this painting though? No, just the bed. Still gonna check the bed. Yeah. I knew you would that work. Oh, this is where we found the page. Just now, but the camera is in the different angle. Now I at least I can see that's a stool next to a dresser, huh? This room is a holdover from the days when the servants were all residential help, living in the mansion. Rumor has it that the old servants' quarters were demolished long ago. Okay, so this is, this makes sense. Because that's where Max busted in and just shot everyone. Muttering to herself as she works, the servant comments on how the mansion is never really clean. Yeah, me too, sister. Me too. Can I, can I check out my toilet, please? Yes, thank you. Ah, did you just trap me? Okay. She. I saw an examine there, but examine what? Okay, now. Oh, it's just a room. Okay, so there's nothing really here. Arg. Okay, next room, please. Now that's a good painting. Actually, reminds me of Arkley Mountains, kind of. She informs Edward that she believes the weather will worsen and that she hasn't heard it being this bad for many decades. Oh, here we go. She didn't hear that, I guess. An exorbitant and out of place stained glass window ends the hallway. Whoever put it here had eclectic taste and confirms Edward's belief that the mansion is more folly than a real house. He's gonna use that later to put the chapter page there for Alex. So you were in on it, Eddie boy. So we've been on the other side, right? Have we? I'm gonna check just in case. No, I haven't been here. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> yes, I perfectly see nothing. Brooding, melancholic paintings adorn the walls. Strange choices of decoration for a bedroom. Each one seats with a vir virulence that could only have been wrought by an unsound mind. So crazy. Hey, sir. Courteously, the ad the servant. Hey, that's what the other guy asked me. Hey, this guy's gonna give me the key, I think. An expansive fireplace inset on the wall faces the bed. No doubt if it were lit, it would make the room quite cozy. Cozy. Oh, look at all this ammo we're finding. We're gonna need it. The same. Again, more brooding. Well, that one's pretty nice, actually. Like, come on, more light. Jeez. We're gonna need a torch here. The master bathroom is woefully spartan and only barely contemporary. It appears to satisfy the most practical of tastes, or perhaps someone who has their mind set on other things. Like the psychiatrist guy. You know what? This is a beautiful bathroom. What are you talking about? Like you have little tiles here, then you, here you have wooden floor. That's luxury. Like you gotta be super rich to have wooden floor in the bathroom, otherwise you just you're not gonna make it. It's not easy to keep the wooden floors maintained in a humid room, I'll tell you that. Alright, we did everything, let's go where we need to go. I love how it has a full door animation if you don't interrupt it, but if you're in a hurry you can totally interrupt it. Oh no, 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 not there. Like, if you want to say something, you why do you have to who I am spook me? Would, although you are doing your best not to believe it, I am or was Maximilian Roivas, your ancestor. I died in an asylum after trying to warn the world. The pain and anguish I felt in that cell has empowered me to linger after my death. Oh, my I God, must so complete what I started, Edward. The darkness must be stopped, or all of humanity may end. Set the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Oh. The ancient scroll of paper sits on the chair. The magic pool spell. That's the one I was missing. Was it? No? Actually, I got the one that I was missing. Wait, I have the book, do I? No, I don't. How the fuck did I get a spell scroll? How am I reading it? You know what? Let's not ask too many questions. What else is here? Welcome back, Luca. He just spoke. We, we went through the entire mansion and he just spoke to... The ghost of Maximilian, his ancestor. Edward's favorite reading chair faces a healthy warm fire. No doubt many cold nights are ahead. Are they? Oh, this is this is where you hang out. Yeah, this is, I would read or play a Game Boy there. Either one. They're both fine. Cock poo? Cook poo? What the fuck? What is cook poo? <laughs> Sounds like John wrote that. The looming. Ah, okay, I don't remember. <laughs> A looming grandfather clock stands ominously in the corner, gazing on the empty room with an almost patriarchal air of its own. The ghost asked Edward to set the clock, but there are no hands on it. Edward must find the clock hands so he can set it properly. Okay, we already have the clock hands. Here's the hour hand. Yes, kitty, it is the hour hand. 
And here's the minute hand. It's also made from stamped brass. The ghost asked Edward to set the clock and now with two hands on the clock face it can be adjusted. Yes. I like how far you push the analog stick. That's how fast it'll go. Cook poo. Okay, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> I I read that differently. It was like, when did they ever how I met your mother say the word cock? <laughs> cock poo. <laughs> Take them and use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my wasted death. I mean, I, I love Max, but he's a very uh, dramatic ghost. A loaded revolver is mounted on the wall by means of a display plaque. Wait. Who did this? Like, did were there any Roivas ancestors that had something to do with, uh, like, that had any contact with the darkness between Max and Ed Edward? That's something that always, like, I, I have that question. That's the same. Shotgun shells. I love games that give you, like, the same location in different time periods. All right, we got all the ammo we could. Nothing in there. He's about to learn everything. Poor Edward. You'll never be innocent again. Well, that's new. Fish. I guess that's where the Forbidden City is. Are we ready? What was that door? No. Are we ready, Eddie? Here we go. A strange letter-bound book, book tome sits amidst piles of books and papers. Yes, pick it up. Here we go. Suddenly he's like, aha! Upon the desk was the work of a mad... Upon the desk was the work of a madman. Frantic scribbling on torn note paper that had somehow weathered the years. Were these Maximilian's ravings laid out in choppy scrolls of ink? Or the testament of humanity's savior waiting to fuel the battle against the guardians? Poor Max, he gave like he gave his whole life against this. To fight it. And they still sent him to like the asylum. Oh. Okay. Shit's about to get heavy. So with that. We have all the spells now. Magic pool. Wait, I'm missing spell 10. Ah, this is summon. I think this is summon zombie. Yeah, this is summon horror. Spell 12. Okay. I know you you, you found two, find two of them out of order. Okay. I do want to buff this though. That's what I wanted to do. So enchant item with red. At five point. All right, I'm ready. Uh, if you can't see, this was done by the creators of Blood Omen. <laughs> then you probably don't have eyes. Okay, so we gotta be able to see it. It's green, right? So we need reveal invisible five. Oh shit. He's gone. Don't finish her. Okay, this is live now, so I gotta be fast. Spell list, reveal, invisible, number five, uh, Chiturga, yeah. Seven. Okay, now we can follow him. There it is. 
fight me, fool. I think I gotta let him go up there and threaten them. But you are gonna follow me. It's invisible. Remote drinking, huh? Bottom half of basement key. Okay. We're missing the top bit. Okay. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we can't get to the basement where it's healing. So we're just gonna follow it for now. See where it goes. Protect the servants. As Edward nears, the servant stops mumbling to herself self, and asks him if he thinks the weather... Uh, they don't even know that it's, it's there. Okay. Just gotta make sure it doesn't attack anything. <laughs> of course it was. Alright, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, I lost. Okay, so there's no other half of the key. When did I last save? I feel like I shouldn't have attacked it. I should have let it attack one of the servants. You're trying to be more efficient and you fuck it up. You hear it? There it goes. Okay, now we follow it. Oh gee. Here we go. It's attacking that guy. Don't get tired now. Oh shit. Taking my sanity away. Run, fool. Okay. Alright, he's healing again. Grateful for having their lives spared from the monster, the servant offers a token of thanks. Elephant gun ammunition. Okay, let's save all of them. First, reveal invisible. He's got a lot of mana, let's check out his stats, I didn't even do that. And then, what was the other thing? Uh, enchant the most powerful red. Or my shortcuts. Enchant 5, huh? Okay, I need Enchant 3, Red 2, the Revolver and the Shotgun. Oh wait, I still don't have the Shotgun, okay? No! That's good. Still got... So you can see now on the icons, the revolver has the 3 point Chaturga enchantment and Saber has the 7 point Chaturga enchantment. They're both Chaturga cause well, the uh, the vampire, this enemy is actually called the vampire, 
He's zealous that. So Chaturga would destroy him fastest. Let's do another one. Just in case, five. Like a wild pig or <laughs> like a boar. gotta wait for it maybe I enchanted too early there it is let's follow it again as long as it doesn't attack the servants no okay let's follow it oh shit all right the key Okay, now we can fix the key. I may need to reload, we'll see. Maybe I caught it too early. Now we will never attack the guy with the gun. Great for having, okay, shotgun shells, nice. What about the other guy who would have given me? There she is. Not her. We broke this down. So that wasn't there before. Let's check the shotgun guy. Damn, what if... We'll just have to let him attack more servants. He would have given me the... Yeah. So I gotta save this guy. I think I'll have to reload. God. <laughs> uh... Oh look, the enchantment's about to expire. Is it though? Wait. Normally I would, but I might need to reload my old save. If I save, I might never get the elephant gun. Where's the servant? Ugh. I hope it's gonna come this way before I fix the key. Oh, first I gotta combine it, yeah. So this is the top half. Now, enchant item. Okay, that's the basement key. Oh my god, that hurt. Damn it, you know what? Instead of thinking about it, I never had it happen this way, but there's a first time for everything. Uh, yes. Yes. Fuck it. Let's see where it was. Oh, we don't have the... We didn't have... Both hands yet. But we did check the first floor. Okay, I can get there quickly. All the ammo I missed. I mean, I picked up the first time. Oh. 
So this time we'll let it go into servant's room and go rescue them. Otherwise, I think this, I'm pretty sure it's this guy who's gonna give us the key to the elephant gun. Return. No. There was nothing here. No ammo? No ammo. We got the saber, which was there. Was I in the kitchen? Probably. Yeah, all the bullets from here are gone. I didn't even know you can't skip the cutscenes. All of humanity may end. Maybe not the first playthrough? Or any cutscene you see for the first time. Set the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Hey kitty. No ammo there. Just a chair. Elephant gun is too powerful to miss. <laughs> yeah, Kareem said something similar. Okay, I think we got everything like last time. I think.
That's it now. All right. Hmm. This time we'll be able to see him right away. This time, save as soon as I get to this part. So before changing screens, make a save. Now we'll be able to follow him actually. See where he goes. He doesn't go invisible. <laughs> That's a, that's a cool detail. They didn't have to do that. Do we finish her? Take the key. Okay. Oh yeah, it's over there. Yeah, he goes to that guy first. Oh my god, stop that! Did you just escape to the bathroom? Ah, okay. Max becomes a different entity, like a mentor. Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around, and extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. There we go. So, just by preventing the creature, you know, attacking this guy first, I fucked myself out of the elephant gun, the most powerful firearm in the game. Alright, here we go. Small key to unlock the bindings on the gun cabinet. Nice, so we can go there now. We gotta follow this guy again. Think it's time to cast this, huh? Let's do it. Should be there any minute. Unless he already went to the, the other guy. I doubt it. We would see a cutscene. There he is, I can hear him. He courteously waited for me to finish my thing. Oh, they see it. But only I have the spell. I don't think he'll attack until 
the spell casting's complete. There we go. Bye, sir. Yeah, three. We're gonna do three playthroughs this October, uh, Carter. I actually was thinking doing three playthroughs back to back, but after consulting Sasha, uh, we deduced that it's best to you know have games in between. So I'm gonna finish this tonight. Then we're gonna do Resident Evil one and two at least. Then maybe after Resident Evil 2, uh, I do another playthrough. Maybe I do Resident Evil 3 as well. We'll see. Resident that th this all should be done this week, like Resident Evil 2 complete. So next Monday I might do another one. Yeah. Well, also a little spacing. As much as I love the the game, I can't expect people to want to watch the same game three times in a row. But then again, <laughs> you know. Hmm. So elephant gun ammunition, and we can get the gun now. Okay, okay, now I feel safer. So the only gun, oh, actually one of two guns that has mode. So this function allows the character to change the fire selection of guns. This is again, if you played Resident Evil ever, this is self-explanatory. The Holland and Holland double rifle fires an enormous 50 caliber 3 inch nitro slug, quite capable of stopping rhino or elephant dead in their tracks. Only a crazy man would feel comfortable facing a Holland and Holland. So it's like a very powerful gun. And it has, you can fire two shots at once, which will be useful for some bosses for now. Well, because it's a double barrel, right? You can fire, fire both barrels or just one. We have 29. 31 shells for it uses yeah 50 caliber three inch nitro cartridges what i don't even know what kind of cartridge is that but here we go we have it yeah i think anything if you play it well not anything but a lot of games would lose i don't know i can imagine myself playing this three times in a row i did it before You never know what's gonna interest you tomorrow. Like, maybe something you love, you just don't, don't feel it that day. I can see that happening. I feel suddenly like playing Pokemon, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. So where is it? We still need the key. We'll just wait for him. I should really shortcut that thing. What do I have on quick spells? Magical attack 3. We're gonna need not, not gonna need that anymore. So enchant 5. Can freely make that. Enchant assign 7 Shaturga on Y. There you go. And then the other one to assign will be reveal invisible. 7 point Chaturga to right. There you go. Right on time. Oh, you're attacking me, not them. Okay, if I save her... Alright, he dropped the key. In his desperation to escape from Edward, the vampire creature drops the top half of a key onto the floor. Alright, now we can finish this. What about the servant? Shotgun shells, nice. No, not the clock. 
talk to me. Okay, so I guess if it doesn't attack anymore, yeah, that was the servant it attacked the last time. Okay, only last time this was taken down. Somehow it was pushed down. I don't know how that works, but it happened. Still don't have the shotgun. I'm gonna enchant. What do I have a lot? Yeah, I'm gonna enchant the sword for now. The saber. Next, so the next run we'll do will be Chaturga. And it's funny because, like I said, Chaturga, <laughs> just trying to understand him, is like, what did you say, dude? <laughs> it says Anterbok, it sounds like, <laughs> I can't even do that, like, raspy voice. <laughs> Good for the actor, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use and then open. Before he gets me here, yeah, so he doesn't, he doesn't trap me on the stairs. The blowback from his hit, oh. Just aim, Edward. Lock on, please. Hey, kitty. All right, let's get him. I gotta destroy the stone, that's right. A simple obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the well. A runic design is carved into one side, proclaiming its allegiance. Oh. Fuck you, buddy. There you go, I don't even have to see you. We're gonna finish him. But only him. Summon horror spell, we have that as well. Elephant gun ammo. Shotgun shells. More ammunition. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, active kit chapter, get it ready. Double shotgun. Oh look at all this ammo. More shotgun shells. couple of barrels of vintage port. No matter how bad life gets, one can always look to the brighter side of things with the old Scarlet Rush. <laughs> you held a message? Whores? Yeah, you can say whores, we're all grown-ups here. <laughs> whores, yeah. I found, <laughs> when I was editing the, the first episode, I think it was, <laughs> when I said something similar. Oh, it's a horror. <laughs> well, yeah, the way you say horror, it kind of sounds like horror, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, the horror. <laughs> Are you calling some whores? No, I'm just... I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Okay, now it's time to enchant a little bit of everything. We're gonna do... I need the three-point enchantment as well. Spell list. Enchant a sign. Because I don't need reveal invisible anymore, I think, right? So enchant... Three, red, and right. There you go. So that's gonna make it faster. Let's go in order. Saber. That's right. Right, then pistol. Then I enchant everything. Fuck it. And a little red Shaturga shield. Shaturga, Shaturga shield. <laughs> Shotgun. And finally the 
Fuck it, everything. It's nothing for my psychologist mana. But I go down with a saber. What's the saber? Cavalry swords like this saber were used chiefly as an item of... Oh, okay, this is Max's. What about the shotgun? It's unique to him, I think. The Taka Model A shotgun was also known as the auto or home burglar gun. A double-barreled breech-loaded shotgun. It's, it is capable of firing one or both barrels simultaneously. So it also has the mode. There you go. Three weapons with that function. Let's go. Again. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Defer the fish. <laughs> Inside the well, a crumbling ladder leads down into the coing darkness. Yes, there's no other option. You gotta go down, man. Still nothing here. This is gonna be only significant in Alex's time. What are you looking down at? Look, that's the Mantorok rune, huh? Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel. But the thought of what lies inside the guardians of Zelothat makes Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Well, yeah, they kind of do. Which is what we're gonna do here. Oh, let's do it here for... Like, it's gonna be more poetic if I do it here. Mmm, spell list. What do I need? A shield of Chaturga 7. There you go. And you know what? I'm gonna actually assign that to right. There you go. Charge! Charge faster. Oh, thank you. I'm about to get locked. I don't think I can save. Nope. Fuck it, I'll just go blindly into battle. Hi there, horrific guys. Yes, take my sanity. That's what I want you to do. Each other. That guy is dead. That guy is dead. All right. Keep sanity low. Cool. It's really good to see everything in the game after all these years. Everything's so huge, I'm not sure if I'm like losing sanity or things are supposed to be. I'm supposed to be this tiny. Uh, Alright. My mana should be full, yeah. Here we go, again. This is as far as Max got. Let's see if I can get further. 60 revolver, 108 shotgun shells. Whee! Let's do a revolver as well. No, mom, I'm not a Satanist. I'm just doing my enchantments. I also need to heal with the 5 point the spell. I hear a chopper there, just gonna be there in a second, cold on. Oh, I don't have enough magical energy. It's Sexy Wesky with the raid. Welcome, raiders, welcome. Welcome to Eternal Darkness. I'm Hippie Tesla. I do, I stream retro games from actual consoles, no emulation. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing, Wesky? Hey, Simon. Hey, Kun. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Pius Augustus with the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he had one. Let's see. 
Wesker. Show one, two, three, four. Zoop. Outbreak file two. How are the games? How's the how's outbreak today? How are you doing, Wesky? What's up? Here we go. We're going into the city, are we? Can I can I do my thing? What was I gonna cast? Recover health. There we go. No mana left. Oh good to hear, Wesky. What did you play? Scenarios? Here we go. There's a guardian. Another guardian and a horror. I gotta be very careful. And I'm crazy. I'm like batshit crazy now. Oh, you play with Simon. Nice. And two randoms. Good. If it's nice when you get a good team. Showdown 3 only. It's going great, man. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm gonna finish the first run of this game tonight. We gotta do three playthroughs this October because that's how you get the true ending when you finish it three times so we'll see why does it keep doing that it's like censoring the word whore on all levels <laughs> it could be Mobius yeah it would be like he would do that to get out of hell like this is where he ended up yep yeah, totally thanks Wesky <laughs> Here we go, let's kill these guys. So I have... Let's try with the saber. Shit! Fucking just shoot him with a revolver. Oh! He's doing the chain lightning. I have to finish the horror. Putting up the shield, I'll have to kill that too. Sorry, comrade. There you go, some sanity back. It's recovering itself. Oh gee, I need more. It's already fucked my shield up. Okay, now. Now, quickly. Dispel magic. I should have needed to take a fire shot. All right, time for you to suck it, buddy. It's gonna teleport. We gotta follow it. Teleport. Come on. Keep an eye on it at every moment. What the hell is cheating? You can't cast spells. Oh, it's summoning zombies. That's good. I can use them to fill up on sanity. If it's too far, I'm just gonna shoot it. My enchantment expired. Damn. Oh, you can do that? Spell, enchant, three point red, shotgun. Come back, I just want to shoot you in the face. Please die. Is it dead? It is dead. Let's see how much sanity it restores. More than half. Sheesh! <laughs> yeah. That's just one. There's gonna be a lot of them in this chapter. Alright, we have enough ammo though. This chapter gives us enough ammo. We can always restore sanity with a sip from the flask of liquid courage. Historical journal? Wait, I have those still? Yeah, you keep them actually. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, it's not gonna be an easy chapter. So, enchant the sword. Damn. 
This and the shield are a must in this chapter. Look at all that mana. Now there's nine towers we gotta activate. Nine of them. I think this is the longest chapter, longer than the next one in the entire game. These splints look like the ones Pius had encountered in the, in the Forbidden City, where he found the essences of the ancients. Edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be. Yeah, he's not gonna use that. These are not gonna go unused for another 50 years. Pulsating field of energy emanates from the stone. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna activate a teleporter if I... We gotta, yeah, through all nine towers. It would seem as though the array itself serves as a massive circle of power. Each switch around the perimeter of this room corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Once a spell has been scribed, it is, a magnif it is magnified by the array. Could this be the Guardian City's weakness? If one could somehow remove the magic from this area. So this is a hint. It tells us we need to dispel magic, but like on a large scale. So we need Nethlek, Redgomor, and all the other runes are Pargan. So let's do that. Gee, look at the city. Oh my god, I've never seen it in such detail. On my old TV, it never looked like this. It's just amazing. Anything to shoot, maybe? No. Oh. I'm slowly walking because this is magnificent. So, Netlek. Which runes did I say? These spires appear to be focusing magical energy from a nearby source. Perhaps if a rune is marked on the spire, it will affect the flow of magic. Could this? Could the spires themselves serve as a circle of power? Yes, that's what we want to do. Uh, dispel magic, so... Netlek and Redgumor. Bargain, okay. okay. Tower number one, done. Shit's about to become hectic. Er, more hectic than it already is. Because every time you finish a tower, you're teleported to one of these locations. <gasps> this is a this is an Uria versus. Maybe just let them fight each other. Oh, they they're both fighting me. Oh, shit! That's not fair. Wait, one is green, one is blue. Red, green. So one you need one red. I have, I have the, okay, yeah, I have the red. Let's do that first. I'm gonna try to make him attack his friend. There you go. Okay, that guy's dead. Next one, very short enchant. With green, right? Green versus blue, red, green, blue, yeah. We'll do it on the shotgun. In the face! Reload. Oh boy. Nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What is this place and where am I? Ah, I see, okay. This is gonna open one of the gates. So this way, it's gonna bring us back to the central area, okay? Yeah, all of them will eventually lead to the central area. He is tired. 
rest. There you go. All right, eight more spires left. city is just magnificent. I don't know why I couldn't see. Very probably a smaller screen, you can't see it. It was Netflix and Red Gomorrah, right? Yeah. I hope it wasn't Mug Mugromore. Otherwise I'd have to redo it. Oh boy! Do I still have something enchanted? Just uh, not good enough. Hmm, very short red on the shotgun. In the face! Oh, we have those guys there. In the streets of the dam, blood flows along channels gouged in stone. For an unfathomable purpose to nourish the city's parasitic denizens, or to be used to fuel Zelotad's dark magic. Let's finish him. These guys, now, in this chapter, they take really a lot of sanity. And all of these monsters are high tier. No speed loader in this game though. Alright, where am I now? Over there. So the only way I can go... Oh, there should be a lever there. So if I'm there, that's the circle here. Across will be a lever, okay. Over here, nothing. Like a gate? Kinda. Can't go there, okay. You rest. There we go. He needs to rest. We're back in the first area. Okay, so we're just kind of filling the map. I remember this. It's gonna be the same with Alex. Oh, it was up there. I'm so tiny compared to this, like, ginormous city. Look at this. I'm already tired. Oh boy, Edward, you should have been into sports at least a little bit. But you couldn't know you had to save the planet, did you? Number three. No, 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 no. Stripping balls. All right, Spire from Hell. Enchantments. You know what? It's worth it. Unless it's like old trappers. That and I have the shield. That's all I need. Why is there no monsters here? 
You want to tell me I wasted that for nothing? So the exit is towards us. Okay. Let's go pull the lever. Yep. There we go. In the face. So long, buddy. He's red, which means Mr. Uliot. The ancient with the best voice. Why can't I? I guess I'm hitting something? Fuck. And finally, the trapper. And just shoot it. Here stand the rem remnants of a forgotten museum. Perhaps long ago, the alcoves now sealed with clouded glass would have been filled with the creatures and artifacts of lost Enga. Oh, this is literally like okay. So they're still alive in there. So the first time I actually see in this room, so I'm a little surprised myself, honestly. I can use the sword as a source of illumination. Thanks, sis. That's just... Wow. There's actual stuff in there. Like, you can't see any of this on the small TV. I guess I could have just walked out without killing them. I'm not sure because I all, normally when I play this I kill everything. <laughs> I don't know if it would affect like if I leave them now would they would they attack Alex 50 years from now in her chapter? Yeah, okay. Four. Look at that, look at that K wall. Shoo. Anga, like this, specifically this, these views, because every spire has its own view, right? Um, I, I couldn't see any of this until this is the first time I actually see what's around me. The, the brightness is also a little different. Okay, thanks, Carter. That I was, because when I think about things like that, I have to test it, right? <laughs> but now you save me time, precious time of my life. Where the fuck am I now? These, this is like no matter how many times I play the game, this part is okay. So from there, that's a really small one. Should be okay. What am I looking at here? <gasps> oh, is this gonna be the insane room? I think it is. Yeah, that's where the worms will come from. So he's got no puzzle there. Ah, there's the worm. I should have a flask. Okay, so that... Oh, I see. That's like foreshadowing and also a hint. For when you play Alex, what to do? Because he just took a sip from the liquid courage flask. Didn't use it though, somehow magically. Game logic. There's a lot of... Okay, that, at least that one. That, see that upper left? That's Mantarok. Mantarok rune. It's beautiful. It's, I thought this game was pretty, now I think it's fucking gorgeous. 
All right. Not too many sanity effects though. Kind of wish more would happen. We're trying to do a low sanity run. But we'll say we'll have three low sanity runs, so we'll we'll catch them all. The first episode was abundant with them, but almost had me. The second and third not so much. We wanted to be Chaturga, right? Because we're... This is Zelothat? Yeah, Scribe Chaturga. Can you change it though? What if I wanted to change it? Ah, you can. Okay. But it's still Chaturga. This time... This time I'll be ready. Fuck it. Mm, that... And yes. I didn't even use that elephant gun. Let's use it a little. Went through so much to get it and then never used it. Yep, good thing I did that. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Falls on his ass every time he shoots the elephant gun. Yeah, th it's worth using the elephant gun for these guys. I, I had a hunch I was gonna fight another guardian. My ass. the hunting rifle of this game. Fuck your magic. Oh, it's dead. Okay, we gotta restore some sanity. Do we? That's a lot. I mean, they take a lot, but they also restore a lot. Where am I now? Nothing to examine. Oh, I see. There's gonna be more areas, that's right. Where's the lever here? On the opposite side, I'm sure. Where else would we be? What's on the other side though? We're gonna say nothing? Yeah, this should bring me back. Yeah, this should bring me back to the exit, that's right. I see, it's kind of hard to see where you are when you don't have a mark on the map. Point. This is you looking in this direction. Can we examine stuff here? I remember seeing some new examines this year. Because they usually sprint past and you can't really examine while you're running. Okay, rest. Take five. That was his full stamina. From one end of the hallway to the other. Oh no, it's already charged with Chaturga's power. Nice, all the portals are now red. How many more? I have 54... 49. Shit, just use that. No sword, just use the guns. Oh, all the 
these enchantments just to face a bunch of traps. Oops. Quiet. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll be back to the same area I was in before. Was it here? Yeah, it was around that outside. Come on, Edward, you can do it. Don't die on me, buddy. Rest. Run. But that's all he gets. What is up with the sanity effects? Is the game like he had enough sanity effects? It's enough for one playthrough. He had 30 of them. So after that one, two left. It's one of those guys. All right. Come here, you little bastard. Oh god, I should have known it did that. But if you're summoning, then I can do this. Dispel 5 red. Yeah, it's such cheating. Shouldn't be able to do that while moving. Like the game rules clearly state you can't cast magic while moving. It interrupts my spell casting. Why is he better? He's dead. Oh, it's not dead. Heal all you want. Hey Waluigi, welcome to the stream! Oh, is that a zombie summoned or was it there already? You dead? I'm not gonna use it for, uh, for the sanity boot. Well, that's pretty brave with the zombie behind you. Actually, it's a zombie, I can revolver it. Reload quickly. Headshot. That's very little. Sand. Quiet with the choir. Oh yeah, I need this too. 
What's up, Waluigi? Huh. Okay. Now back to the same area I was in before. Is it this way? Yeah, it has to be this way. can make it uh. he's losing capacity he's becoming transparent okay rest good for you game being able to animate all all of this at 60 frames per second constantly not a chop not a single drop frame it was netflix and red gomor right i think yep yeah. yeah one more spire left so this is like a floor of the map actually it's beneath it goes under the house so the the mansion below the mansion going down still then the spires then the city entrance then the city itself beautiful what was i here for yeah just to make sure netlik red gomor that's right one more bargain and that's, that's it we did it we fucked their plans up for now Oh no, again? Another one? Shit, I know what to do. You're gonna need this, this for the trappers. There's more of them. There it is. The spell five red. Quickly. That worked. Not in the way I, I wanted, but it worked nevertheless. So long, buddy. I keep the sanity lower. We're nearing the end of the chapter and nothing's happening. Oh, I killed it. I killed the little guy. By accident, but I did it. Of course, Carter. Of course. Why wouldn't you redeem reverse reverse in a critical moment such as this? <laughs> oh, that's, that's aiming. Je li jesam, a? Znaš što misli na green screen, je li? Alright, Carter, here we go. There's another one? Wait, what is that one for? The last room. 
which... Yeah, okay, I remember now. I'll have to escape the city as well after I do all of this. I find these controls much easier to do backwards than tank controls, which, like, on paper it should be easier. Hey, <laughs> it was either that or... Yeah, I don't know. Pius Augustus battle. Hmm, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for not doing it there. Kako sam pao, čekaj, šta sam propustio? Oh, oh, like, okay. When I shoot, the, kada, kada put some ovaj elephant rifle pa padem na dupe, ali to? <laughs> aim. Nothing to aim to, okay. Run. Run, like, using the, 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 the triggers with my pinkies. Yeah. Here we go. Re ready? Pargan. Playing on the head. Anything is easier than N64. I love Nintendo 64, but I will say that controller is. It was the first of its kind. Time to escape. <laughs> do I have to escape? Yeah, I do. Pretty sure I have. Unseal the exit. Edward's meddling with the arrays has conjured incredible energies that are now building up inside a city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Here we go. Run, Eddie. Run, Eddie boy. We're gonna enchant the, the gun and the shotgun and just run with it. it gives you way more than enough of... Uh, resources for this chapter it was oh shit did I shoot him? no he's got a thing of course what is that a real horror? I don't think that's a real horror. Oh, or is it? Oh shit, I have to reload. What is up with that horror? It's ginormous. Now, reload with your thumb. Oh shit, that was accidental, but it worked. Oh. Totally worth it. Oh, that was the shotgun only. Good. No, no, come here. I have a few questions for you. Like, what the fuck is this shit? And also, what the hell, man? Quickly before it... Yeah. What's the aim button? This, okay. So, uh, uh. Fuck you, buddy. Hold the Z button. Hold it. Oh shit, they gotta run after it. Where to now, master? Oh, I caught me. Ah, God. Okay, we'll get to it quick. Let's go for help. Whatever appears. Sanity. No, thank you. Just escape. Oh. Just gonna avoid it. Bye. <laughs> Where is it? I, I think we had enough of reverse reverse. I'll reverse the reverse as soon as I kill this bastard. 
Come on. Carter, all, all these redeems from you will give me the ability to play any game. Did it work? Yep, he's dead, Jim. I have to escape. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. H how long would you want it? For an hour? <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Far too short. Nah. It was, I gave you like th three. <laughs> three times worth. Yeah, let's reload this. Like these, no sanity effects with Edward. Or the last two chapters at all. Do I have to be fast? Is something gonna happen if I fuck this up? An hour or two, huh? <laughs> Just learn to play backwards. That's it. Ignore everything. Where did you come from? Just go straight, yeah? And then left. And you're out. Another one. Did you block my way? If it didn't block my way, I'm just gonna escape. There's more of them, yeah. Goodbye, guys. It was nice knowing you. Oh, wait. I'm not out still. Come on, Edward. Run for your life. No weapon there. Maybe they'll make it easier. <laughs> well, with the bonuses they're giving you, it's not impossible. <laughs> Come on, Edward. This is this is realistic. He's like barely making it, but he's making it. You can do it, Edward. Go. It's all gonna explode. It's all gonna make Michael Bay out of here. No, it's just magic. But for them, it's like... It's like a nuclear bomb for them. <laughs> the opposing magic. <clears throat> okay, we did it. 48 years later. Remember when Pius sent him to kill... The, uh... The... The owner of the house? Well, it's doing it. Ciao, Natsu! Well, we just need to solve it. This chapter is just nothing. He just died, though, at the start of the game. Now, now we know how it happened. Do you bring news Hold of on. disaster, Augustus? Yes. Your colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been eradicated. A great magic wrought massive destruction there. Not a single guardian escaped. Your concern is touching, but out of place. There are other guardian colonies. The loss of one is meaningless. That is the only disaster you report? Yes, my magnificence. There are no others. And what of your treachery to us? Treachery? All in good time. It matters not that you bear us ill will, Augustus. It will come to no end. You lack the power to destroy me. Or even elevate yourself to our level. The future has unfolded before me through a vision. One of my many visions. A vision of my conquering the absent horror. Uliath, master of the planes. The magic of the planes is no match for the power of the mind. And thus, it will be destroyed. Then the gate shall be opened. 
and you shall once again grace the earth with your presence. She just ignores her accusations. So, as far as I know, she's just paranoid. He doesn't. He actually adores her because he touched her artifact. He adores any ancient whose artifact he touched, and in this timeline, well, we picked her. So I think she's just paranoid about it, like that he wants to betray her. You go in. <laughs> Alex finds a scrap of paper tucked between the pages of the tome. It appears to be a note from Edward. Okay, what did you write, Gramps? A small note written on a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I have left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. It was my favorite tipple, and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Alright? So where did you... The basement? Oh, okay. Let's save. Second to last chapter, here we go. There is something stashed between the barrels of port. Should Alex pull it out? She found a pickaxe. A hefty pickaxe for demolishing walls. Too cumbersome to be used as a weapon. It might come in handy somewhere else. Yes, you know where? Finally find the room that Max boarded off all those years ago. There, it's not a sanity effect, I think. Or is it? Would it restore if I restore my sanity? Let's try it. Here it, here it is, like the dark version of the image. Let's try it. I'm just gonna save and then reload the save. Restore sanity, fool. Recover, seven, zelda. Let's change rooms. There we go. It is. Damn. I never noticed that. Yeah, because I know why. I get it. That's what that's what Edward did, cleaning it with the Okay. So it's one of those things that changes. See, it's not looking at you when you have high sanity. Yeah. <laughs> That's Zelotath. Who? Alex? So, it's only doing that when your sanity is low. It's one of the environmental sanity effects. Okay. Thanks, Carter. That solved that mystery. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, load. <clears throat> Hold on. A glass of water? <laughs> Thanks, love. Good luck. Well, that's why it's bloody here too. It's not normally bloody. Like if your if your sanity is okay, you don't see this. I think. So uh, what I did was I cured my sanity completely. And changed, like exited the room and came back this fixed, but also the statue stopped following me with its head. So it's all in my head, and I think the floor wasn't bloody either. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. ah! 
charge! <laughs> he killed all the servants. Yeah, the sanity stuff. Okay, so we can't approach. And it's draining my sanity continuously, apparently. Red, green, blue. Ooh, effective. An antique stethoscope seemingly accidentally dropped into the pile of ash glints brightly in the light of the room. Okay, that was Max's because he was a doctor. To the Max! <laughs> A scrap of paper unmarked by the fire lies amidst the bones and ashes. Another page from his journal. Nestled on a bed of ash are the remains of three people. Was this the duty that Maximilian had hinted at? Had he suspected that his servants were not human? But there are four clearly occupied beds and only three skulls. What had happened to the four? I think it's draining my sanity just being here. Like the way he left it 200 years ago almost. It's boarded off completely. He moved the carpet. Yeah, what happened to the fourth one, really? I never thought about it. Where, where's the fourth one? So that's the... That's the last room in the, in the mansion. Now we have them all. It's like, nobody thought of, like, you know, opening the room up after all these years. What are you looking at? Oh shit! Do they start attacking now? Is it time for her to fight? Donna. This is a page from Maximilian Roivus' journal. It reads, As I contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw it twist in a most peculiar direction, and a bulge of muscle tissue collect and grow in the most incorrect of manners. As if a bone was being displaced from its proper location and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away knowing that I was surrounded by unholy creatures that wore the skins of mortal men and women. I had to take action. Dear God, let my hand be swift and merciful, lest the world see more of these diabolic creatures. He wasn't wrong, but I think that's the fourth. The fourth. The fourth servant was. The only one who was possessed, I think. The other three weren't. I think that's what happened. An antique stethoscope you made of brass used for amplifying the sound of a beating heart. This one is probably 200 years old. Yep. That it is. You can actually, can you see through it? No, that would be too much. Expecting to see through it. Okay. It's time to arm myself. With what, though? What do I have? Shotgun, revolver... I'm gonna keep the shotgun for later. For now, I'm gonna go with the revolver. Ah, fuck. Gladius. Stop bleeding, bro, please. But also revolver for the... Damn it! Okay. I was trying to avoid that. Okay. I 
could have gone invisible and just ran through all of them, which is what I'm gonna do. Fuck this. Oh, that's fair. Open the door. I could save it to heal myself later. Now. Screw everybody. See me, they shouldn't be able to. Okay, zombies have infested my house. At least I don't have to fight them. They kind of see me, but not completely. Now that Alex has the stethoscope, she can easily hear the tumblers inside. <clears throat> to open the safe, the dial should be turned to the right until the tumblers can be heard falling into place. Then to the left again, until the same sound, and finally to the right. So, right, left, right. I think, yeah. Didn't hear the third one, so right. shot it every time I think. I can't hear from the sounds. Hold on. There we go. 59. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay, everything that Edward saved up. As the safe's door hinges open, it, its contents are revealed. Many important items left behind by Edward lie on the shelves inside. Let's collect all the items. The essence of Chaturga, a crankshaft, letter from Edward, and chapter page entitled Ashes to Ashes. <laughs> yeah. Putska, putska. A storm approaches, Augustus. A storm of metal and fire. And metal and fire. along with it. Young and vibrant. Yes. I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure. And one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling. Ah, okay, you know what they're talking about? With this sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, Great One, the gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom 
We're going there. Ashes to ashes. So we got the crankshaft. A large brass crankshaft, seemingly part of an antique. Chaturga's claw glows with an unnatural blood red aura, seething with restrained violence. A letter Dear from Edward. Alexandra, if you were reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made sure to leave this message for you. As I write this letter, Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus' plans, but not stopped them completely. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Of the artifacts, there are four, but one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyauth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in this desperate act. I wish I had more guidance for you, but I am at my wit's end, and I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Oh boy, here we go. That's it, yeah? Yeah. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. 1991. That's pretty recent. Got helicopters all of a sudden. <laughs> I know this one always threw me off. It's hotter than hell here. I'm getting a little nervous about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edward, I know that voice. Your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the You know where he is? <clears throat> well, there's one location in the Middle East that's uh from ancient Persia. It's the Forbidden City. What the hell happened? They're all dead. McCormick. Patterson. 
Oh God. Looks like they've been buried alive. Yep. Under tons of concrete. Guard it well. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. Not better, son. <laughs> Sensing the danger, Mike protects his hands from the insidious magic by using his coat to carefully pick the artifact from the debris strewn floor. And he got the essence of Ulia. The ruby effigy and the sapphire effigy. So the emerald effigy is out on, on to him to find. To be able to get the final piece. Alright, the flashlight. He starts with the flashlight, the fire axe. Multi-purpose fire axe made from molybdenum alloy. Is that a real? For extra strength and heat resistance. No. Just equip right away. Flashlight. Durable emergency flashlight equipped with a long endurance battery. So it's not going to run out. Can equip both of them. Essence of Uliot. It's veil. Shifts from plane to plane. That's the same. And we got the effigies. Nice. Can't save here. The darkness is coming, it's not to save. Safe to save, really? Oh, because there are zombies. Yeah, lose your sanity. The fire axe is very powerful. So easy to kill a zombie with it. Oh, it is. I didn't know that. Can we see... Oh, fuck, they're regrowing. I don't want to finish you guys. Okay, they're really dead now. I don't think they'll come back. Yeah. Nice, low sanity right away. Fuck it, finish one of them. Cause they're not gonna die, obviously. You guys really gonna come back every time? We done? hope so a desiccated corpse lies sprawled on the temple floor this is dressed in desert combat fatigues a rifle pistol and a variety of ammunition lie about him the soldier appears to have gone down fighting collect everything the assault rifle 556 ammunition pistol 9mm pistol ammo grenades Oh, I think this is my favorite theme in the game. Obje the objective individual combat weapon <laughs> OICW is a Heckler & Koch G36 rifle mounted under a 20mm grenade cannon. It is commonly assigned to special forces unit. The rifle uses a 30 round clip and is chambered for 556 NATO ammunition. Which we have here, so the same type of ammo used in uh, the RE3 assault rifle. 
The Glock 17 is a semi-automatic pistol renowned for its resilience under harsh firing conditions. The Glock can even fire underwater. The Glock fires 9mm pistol, pistol ammunition, which is like... It appeared in several RE titles. Oh, nice! Background. I just wanted to make sure I read that well. 20mm air fuse grenade shells for use with the o OICW rifle. So the mode is, you can go full auto, so single bullet, full auto, uh, I mean uh, burst, three bu bullet burst, full auto, or grenade launcher. Let's start with single. Should be, we should have enough ammo. Single is just, kind of makes more sense. And the pistol, it's just for the weakest of enemies, really. You guys dead? Yeah, okay. Can I save now? Yeah. Anything else here before I move on? He's not gonna examine the pillar, is he? Nope. Nothing to say about it. What's the map of this place? Just that. I guess no other ammo. We can't even go there, huh? Alrighty then. Oh, he's gonna summon another one? Really? I do need the rifle for this guy, fuck this. And grenade mode no less, I'm not gonna fuck around with you forever. Oh shit, I thought I equipped. Am I even hurting it? Come on zombie, follow me. No. Nice, can't attack me. Nope, you can't. I don't have magic still, so this is kind of... Maybe I should have just ran past it. Could I have? Fuck it, I'll... that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I messed up there, I shouldn't fight it. It's just there to drain my resources. Right? Anything else to pick up here? Oh shit, I could, I could have fought it here all along, really? Oh 
damn it. Two zombies, huh? Oh, it just kills one. Does this even hurt it? Nice, okay. That's how you do it. Full auto. Alrighty. Okay, so this is closed now. Do we recognize some of these rooms? We should. We will come to a part of the temple we were at already. Oh, the room is bleeding again. Yep, I can see it. I learned to recognize that sound in this playthrough. Careful now because I don't have the book yet. <laughs> Hold them. <laughs> Love that. Depends if you do it um, with aiming or without aiming. An odd, an odd battered staff lies upon the die. He's got pretty good HP, but very bad MP. I'm gonna go and grab that thing real fast. Oh, that guy is still breathing in pain. Sorry. No comebacks. Where was the other? So it came from that one? Takes me to different locations. Okay, let's go to the first one then. I just want to grab that thing and run out of here. Situated on a waist-high plinth is a gold amulet. Circular in shape with a series of jewels clustered around what appears to be a glass lens. It has a fitting on one side as though it was once attached to something. Yeah, it was. A long staff made from hardwood. <laughs> Its finish, once clean and resplendent, is now dented and cracked. One end of the staff is merely bare wood, indicating that something was once attached to the end. So yeah, we mix these two. A long staff made from hardwood, its finish once blah blah blah, it's topped with a gold amulet instead with a lens and all. 
Bye. Oh, shit, son. I'm gonna be back here when I get the book. I gotta make them follow me here and then just... They're not kidding at this stage of the game. So, one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, I see where I end up. Okay, good thing I have it on the map. Around, not that. I'll save every now and then here because it's easy to fuck up. It's not a complex chapter, it's just a lot thrown at you. Here we go, that's what I'm looking for. It looks like a scale replica of the area. The model is made from clay and seems brittle. Some of the buildings appear to have been coated with a reflective glaze. Wait, but that's gonna. I know what's that's gonna open. What about... What about the rest of it? This is where I should get the book, right? So, I'm just gonna do a little experiment here for my sake. Something I never tried. I go back to the first one. Where there's two, uh... Gatekeepers. Yeah, that voice, I was gonna say. He was talking on the radio with what I think was... Colonel Campbell's voice, but this voice I think is... Oh, they're summoning. Can't heal or anything, so I gotta be careful. There you go. Chop the torso off. Roberto was here. There were there were a lot of traps here. I remember this bit. Where's the one with the... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I can't do anything without the book here. That's okay. I'll... Oh, God. Thanks, game. I miss those. Uh, does my sanity really have to be at its lowest for you to show me that? Here we go. I'm gonna get... Interesting, finally. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. The boot OS. <laughs> so you gotta keep it really low I was hoping we get because sometimes you can get a, a lot of sanity effects with like a quarter of sanity but I'll have to keep it dangerously low it seems okay let's do this this is where we get the book I was always wondering like wait 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 what if I didn't well, what if I came there later but I <laughs> why you thought it was for real here yeah, this it's depression lies in the floor in front of the model. Perhaps something may be placed here. Yes, it can. This is gonna teach us for a later puzzle.
There's one. <laughs> it got you. Nice. That's that's what the sanity effects are for. To trick you. <laughs> we didn't get the deleting your save one. What about this one? Here we go. So I hope... Ah, he's gone. <laughs> a hidden compartment has been revealed. The rear wall of the compartment is lined with polished metal, forming a crude mirror. So Pius did it the best he could with the technology he had. Now with the power of... of uh, is it omniscience, what I'm trying to say? He should have had from his ancient, ancient... Could have made like technology happen earlier, but we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, now we can progress. Here we go. The whole of the tome should be full now. Oh, I've never been batshit crazy in this place. There's Elia. Pius. Anthony. Kareem. Max. Paul, uh, Roberto, and finally Edward Voivas. That's all Gramps. He's in the hole now. Died fighting the darkness. He knows now. Goodbye, innocence. Oh, I don't like that. You know what? Fuck you. I'm not afraid of you. I need to heal anyway. Goodbye, horror. <laughs> even get a sanity. Huh. He didn't even get to take my sanity. <laughs> okay, but that's enough really guys. God damn it, they got approached to this. Any more? I guess that's it. Okay, it's not a complex chapter, like I said. Nothing here. I guess we'll keep hearing that instead of the music. No. I do not consent. I want to hear the beautiful music of this level. You know what we need? One of these. That's gonna help a lot. Shit. Be right back, boys. Need more mana. Do I have it? I should have enough. Just enough.
to show them what we're made of. Shit, two of them. Screw you, buddy. Okay, what do we have here? So I'll end up there and then back in the hallway with the figurine. Calm down. Nothing really there. Yeah, I was here with either... I think I was here with Kareem or Roberto. I think maybe this was even one of the rooms to be surveyed. It's good. It's all good. It's all a dream. Those are spears. Definitely. That you can't pick up. There's a lot of weaponry here. So I came from there. Remember a ladder that I always miss. Oh yeah, it's gonna be over there. That's what I need. How many? Two, four, five. Five red. Alright, that's what I need. Shit. The Nemeral Effigy sits upon a display stand. There we go, the final one. We've been there, we've checked all that. We can go back and see if there are some items. I think there should be more grenades or something. But that's about it. Small statue of, skull of a scholar ravaged by an unseen foe that is made from a clear emerald. Okay, let's go back this way. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna enchant the gun. Fuck it. Let's come to that. Now that I have that, change the mode to, yeah, burst, let's try burst. Fuck you, buddy. Nah, too much for them. Oh, the shield is actually protecting me from death too. So good to know. Goodbye, sir. Alright. It was worth it. Remember the room that... This this room definitely Roberto was surveying. I remember this one. Where's the pillar where I started? There it is. Yeah, right next to the pillar. I remember it. Yeah, he did say, you know, don't build here. It's gonna collapse. Well, actually, he was talking about the demons, but... Still. He did say, do not build here. Look what you've done, Pius.
And then the last room might have something. Oh, these are just not there. What, what about magical attack? I do the most powerful magical attack. Will it hurt them, actually? Let's try it. Yeah, I have magic pool. I should use that. If I remember correctly, I rarely use that. This magic transfers the innate magical energy of the environment to one cell, to the self. The limitless power of the ancients will be at your disposal for the duration of the magic. Once the magic has waned, you will be bereft of spiritual powers until it naturally seeps back into your be being. Okay, so yeah, I can use that. <clears throat> but I'm gonna attack him with... <clears throat> Oh, I don't have those in 7 point, really? Tear and Red Gomorrah. Good thing I checked. That's good for replenishing mana, especially at the end. Okay, and the last one. Well, we'll, we're just about to find out. Oh shit! Did I just give them protection? Wrong spell. I actually had it here. Magical attack. Oh boy. Let's have them get together here. Nice. Okay, <laughs> this time do it right. <laughs> Magical 7. Shit. Just kill him. Fuck! Ah, oh, I was too cocky. Okay, now we gotta restore it naturally. <laughs> gotta run around I'm actually gonna do that magic pool cast doesn't matter let's say five nope not even a three point Okay, unlimited mana, here we go. I guess that's unlimited mana. It's kind of just regenerated, I guess. Oh, it's actually regenerating everything. Oh, I forgot about the peers, that's actually useful. No. Man versus This is a better angle. Fuck. 
How about a little of that? Finally. Was there anything there? It kind of looks like something's there. Was this all of this was for nothing, was it? How long did this take? Like five minutes to kill these two guys. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'll remember for the next time. come from this way yep I kind of remember picking up more grenades now I'm not sure if there was a sanity effect Generating assholes. Anything else here? Mm -hmm. I need to climb down the metal. Are you serious, sir? You don't just regrow ahead. Climb down. Oh no, it's one of these guys. Red, green. So I need green. Final moment. Attack your own zombie. Oh, come on! Fucking zombies in my way. Ugh. Where's the other guy? Come on. Face me. God damn it. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing there, boy. Stop killing your own zombies! What is wrong with you?
Come on. Get the zombie to follow me. For a second there I thought we'll be stuck in this forever. Finally, for the love of ass. Oh. <laughs> okay, sis, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I won't let you do it. Do I have water? Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. I, I got engrossed into the game. There you go. <laughs> God. Just kept recycling the zombies. Okay. I know where we're gonna end up now. You know what? I think I should actually use... That's what I'm gonna keep sanity low, just so I don't hear the sounds all the time. Oh, that's weird. But I'm gonna use the. That one, Mantarog shield, just as soon as my mana's back up, which will which will take some walking. Oh wow, it's already been over three hours, it doesn't feel that way, it's, the game's too fun. But like I said, we're finishing this tonight, so we're finishing this tonight. We're near the end, really. Can I do it now? No, I think I need all my mana for that. Go on, just a little bit more. Alright, now it's gonna protect the sanity as well. And that takes care of one big issue. For our effects and music. Oh, hello little bastards. Meet my friend, the Glock. Fuck you all. Where's my... There you go. Remember this room? It's been in every iteration of the temple so far. But all the other doors... Are broken. You can even see it on the map. It's like crossed off. We're at the lowest point in the temple right now. Hmm, maybe switch the firing mode now. I'm gonna try something crazy now. Shoot. Yeah, there you go. Grenades. They hurt. Down, boy. There you go. You still live? <laughs> you dead? Yeah, that's what I, I wanted to hear this music, but damn. An innocuous panel wall caps this end of the room. It is conspicuously empty by comparison to the other walls on the room. It's not a real wall. I know that. I remember. 
this thing too. Strange obelisk made from a dark granite, granite-like material. It appears to be blocking the way forward, while the wall is bleeding. But the obelisk appears to, to be impervious to all damage. Yeah, because we're gonna need our old friend the trapper to get it. Damn, you killed my music. You're gonna die for that. This is another good moment for a grenade. Why do you have arms, sir? Asshole. Alright, now we gotta set them all here. The best relief depicts a sorcerer casting a spell. There is an air of authority about him, conveyed by his dominating visage. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall. Waiting for something. Well, it's waiting for, so it's blue. We need to put sorcerer is killed by the by the warrior, right? Yeah. So blue? No, I mean warrior is killed by the sorcerer, that's right. Then warrior, the best relief depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating this part of the room. Below the design, a small ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red, green. Okay. So, warrior kills the scholar. <laughs> Sir? Sir? Your hand? Sir? The best relief depicts a female scholar. Her authority. Authority glare dominates this part of the room okay so the scholar kills the mage right yeah the sorcerer here we go we did it the secret room so if you fuck up in and if you fuck up in um, Kareem's or Roberto's chapter, you can never get this. Like, you will never obtain this item. Because if they didn't have it, these effigies, they can never pass it on to Michael. Okay, let's go do it. Oh, where is that? There it is. Don't pick up. <laughs> now, it's a question who put it here and why, but maybe Pius hit it. So, whichever enchantment Pius picks, whichever ancient Pius picks at the beginning of the game, this Gladius will be permanently, permanently enchanted with the opposing one. So, because we picked Zealotat with, uh, with Pius, we get the Chaturga enchanted, enchanted Gladius. Cradle on a stone display plant is an enchanted gladius. Energy writes across its surface, pulsing through the surrounding air. This makes the final battle of the game a lot easier, because you don't have to keep doing it. I think he can, yeah, he can equip it. The gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This gladius. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. Which is... Which is Alex. Do I have enough ammo? Yeah, I'll be okay. Alright. 
That. It's good, sir. It's good. Here we go. Time to summon our friend, the Trapper. Let's give him an Uliot. That was its purpose. <laughs> that's what it lived for. Oh, even the legs are kicking on the ground. Oh my god, that's horrible. Did I lose sanity? Shouldn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm missing something here, am I? I feel like... If I do a reveal invisible of the red alignment... Yep. As I thought. Yeah, 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 okay. But first, I do want to go down. What is it, Carter? What did you just... <laughs> Too close. You know what? I do need some help and mana. But it wants me to kill the whore. Not letting you live. Well, that was for nothing, but okay. There it is. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. We're almost at the end of the game. So close. I can smell it. Oh, that's not real. Okay. Oh. That's where Roberto came from, was it? No, actually, that's where... Yeah, that's the... That's the room with the... God, it's right above the pillar. I never noticed that. That's the room where all the granite blocks are. It's right below the pillar. I never noticed that. And this, this is where... Stop wasting ammo, sir. Please. I better, better give him the axe. Nah, it'll be fine. And this is where Pius went to destroy his own statue. Nothing there. What do you mean you never tried that one? Oh wait, no, that was that was Sakuya. <laughs> the final spell, a shrine fashioned from disinterred. I, I read disinterested. <laughs> disinterred human remains stands at the far end of the room, resting in the arms of the bone trestle. Is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. It's the bind spell. Oh, we're gonna need that one. That's right. So the ladder is completely destroyed now. This is where Karim went down this ladder. And by the time Roberto's uh, turn came, it was already out. Destroyed, yeah. So I'm there now. Yeah, it was somewhere from there with Karim. Ah, that's right. Fadim. So I want to bind one of them. Literally needed here. Bind the creature with magic forcing it to ally with them. Bankrock and air attack. Okay, let's discover the final form of that spell. That's what we're gonna use. They're both green, right? So one of them has to become red. Uh, 
Now red is stronger than the green, so he should finish him first, but we'll see. Yep. So he is aligned with me now, huh? Alright. We're gonna need that. A block of explosives, probably a leftover from the war. On Uliot's pedestal. Is that Mantorok whispering into my ear? Look, it's destroyed completely. Well, the war was happening above it for years, so it kind of makes sense. In a way. I like how things change over time, but it's not the same room. Like this here. Wait, I gotta talk about this. I can't miss. So this portion here. In uh, Roberto's and Karim's chapter, you could go... Like the camera, you could go here and then here you would transition to the next room. They, it's the little things. Yeah. <laughs> With each voice, huh? The magic dude. What's your job? I'm the magic dude. I make this happen. But no sanity effects for him. Detonator caps for C4 plastic explosives. Handled with care. Alright. Yeah, I get it. Sounds kind of like Uliath a little. Do I have enough? Fuck it. Alright, we remember this part. Seems like there's a... Yeah, there is. I remember now. These have been moved. That's about it. Okay, time to destroy this. For centuries, evil has been channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. A bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Okay, let's do it. These electric detonator caps will transform a package of otherwise safe C4 plastic explosive into a prime bomb. They have a built-in timer set for a maximum time of 3 minutes. A formed lump of C4 plastic explosives. The detonator simply needs to be added and the charge will explode on a preset time of 3 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a German <laughs> Thanks, Slav. <love. laughs> Michael has assembled the C4 bomb. The C4 satchel and the detonator caps have been combined into a single unit. It is now a prime bomb. When a bomb is used, Mike will have 3 minutes to get to safety. But that's not all, because if we try to use it, even with all the explosives, there is probably not enough to bring down the city. There must be some way of making it more powerful and increasing its damage potential. Well, good thing you asked, because there is! enough energy really oh fuck it I'll just use it so long sanity in Mike's professional opinion this is the right area to place the bomb but it will be 
do much more damage if it were closer to the pit. But what do you mean? I'm already... Don't get any closer. There we go. Mike has activated the bomb's timer. I've never seen that previous tech b before. The bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost in answer, a deep, low rumbling begins to reverberate through the dungeon. Mike has three minutes to escape the Forbidden City and get, get to safety. <laughs> three minutes till There's the song. The Last Hope. I love this one. That's what you hear at the start when Alex is... Oh my god, you killed my music! What is wrong with you? They're swarming! They're swarming! Oh, what the hell? I think I need to find another way out. Yeah, this has collapsed, so no way going there. What's the other way I have? Wait, what am I missing? Ah, the other one has opened, that's right. Oh shit! Okay, I'm gonna die. I fucked this up. What the fuck are you doing, man? That's not a gun. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I live. Restore everything. Recover. Five. So long, suckers. Look where I am now. Nothing there. Alright, so I remember these from Roberto and we're gonna end up exactly where we need to be. Excellent. Just a cross from where you entered. There it is. Am I in the right one? <gasps> am I? I don't think I am. Oh yeah, I am. There we go. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I'm so worried. I played this like 50 times. Okay, yeah, that's what we didn't have before. Look at look how large the temple is after 2000 years. It's the last time we're seeing it in this playthrough. So long, temple. And we got the weapon for Alex. Perfect. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. Hey, zombie. You're just in time for the ending. The final chapter is about to start.
It's happening. The final chaptering. Sanity is out the window. This is it. Okay guys, just a short, very short bathroom break. I'll be right back. Nature calls. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in two minutes with more. Well, with the ending of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to the finale of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem Zelotath run for the GameCube. The only system it ever was on. You okay, Alex? Oh shit, there's enemies. Not, not sure if they're real or... Zombies, no less. Why Mantorok zombies, though? I'm still invisible for them, that's right. They know I'm here, but they can't see me. Don't come back. Oh shit, the books. That's right. Now I have the crankshaft and I have the sun, so I can open the final portion. That's right. Okay. I think this one goes first. That's right. No. So, which one then? This one goes first. Yeah. You can you can cut the the beam. That's pretty cool. So what if I cut the beam while adjusting? Ah, she moves, okay, because otherwise it wouldn't work. Thanks, Carter. Perfect. The game file could not be opened because one does not exist. Ah, okay, I thought I thought I was getting tricked. Damn. <laughs> I thought it's doing a thing. Just wrong memory card. Who the so this this part is like I think this is my least favorite thing about this game. Who brought it? Like how how did they know exactly when to bring it on this exact day? A package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the door. A brown paper parcel. Brown paper parcel. A parcel wrapped in plain brown paper. It is not addressed to anyone and appears to have been wrapped in a hurry. There might be something inside. Should Alex open it? They're like, poof, game over. <laughs> Essence of Ulia. Enchanted Gladius. Oh, that's it. So we have the forever Enchanted Gladius now. Is that what he... Yeah, but how how did he know exactly when? I'm, I, I don't have an issue with him doing it. Just how did he know exactly when to do it? 
not invisible anymore. Why did Mantor send so many zombies after me if we're working together here? Did I lose some sanity? I need some sanity loss. Oh, there it is. Look at me. Thank you. Darkness is coming, really? Alright, where's the secret room? It was here? Here we go, Anga! With the lid removed, some kind of well-like en entranceway is revealed. A ladder leads down into the murky darkness. Was this Edward's route into the Guardian City? Well, no, he actually used the well in the main basement, but okay, I guess he built this later. And this one is... Alex cannot climb this ladder because the shaft above has been sealed, perhaps by Maximilian Roivas all those years ago. Yeah, this is kind of a mistake, I guess, because... We know that Max, so Max used, I think even Max used like this door, there was a door here. Or no, Max actually pumped the water out, I can't remember, but. Definitely Edward went down to that other well and Max didn't seal it, so I think that was just left there. Ghosts are taking, telling the main characters what to do all the time. The architect of the pillar even told him where and to whom to bring the stuff he found. Yeah, him and somebody else did that. I think Kareem showed it to him that way. Yeah, Alec, like Edward, Edward actually used this ladder. I just played that chapter just bef like two hours ago, less. He came down this way, so it wasn't sealed. But uh, maybe they wanted Edward to use that, but they didn't do it. They didn't update that when the game was released, something like that. As the tome had suggested by Edward's and Maximilian's words, the city exists and it is and is far more incredible than Alex had thought. Here are the ruins of Enga, the corpse city, parasitized. Paras parasitized by the guardians of Zelothath. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding buildings. It would appear these towers serve as some kind of focusing array, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Yes, they do. We're gonna use them to our advantage. Start by putting a shield. No. How the fuck? Uh... Quick spell? Yeah, I pressed right. What the hell? Like so. Save. And go in. We gotta visit all nine towers again with her. But it's gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> She's losing it. Yeah, I remember this. Now I gotta be fast, like super fast. Whenever crossing this. Cause they, they learned from their own mistakes and they covered the floor with magic. <laughs> and I gotta be fast, that's all I'm gonna say. Bzzzoom. Oh shit. Okay, I need... 
uh, dispel magic it's green, right? Dispel seven point red. Here we go. These plinths look like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City, where he found the essences of ancients. Okay, we're missing one though. Long ago, Edward Roivas used the arrays to destroy the denizens of the Guardian City. Alex needs to match the power of the Lich and destroy the ancient he plans on bringing into this world. So, is this a piece of it? This one's destroyed, right? Yeah. The podium is heavily damaged, crumbling onto into rubble and dust. If it is to be used, it must somehow be restored to its former state. Okay. Part of the broken pedestal top lies on the floor. That's one. Gotta find the other. There's the other one. Now combine them. A loosely assembled top of a display pedestal. It will not stay together, but... There we go, pedestal fragment. Other than it not being attached to the rest of the pedestal, it is in excellent condition. <laughs> so we can't use that yet. We gotta power the thing first. Alright. Let's put the essences, Chaturga. The Claw of Chaturga. The Essence of Uliot, its Veil, and the Heart of Mantarok. Well, the Essence of Mantarok, which is its heart. Alright. We're gonna use his weapons against him. Oh, I see trappers. I see crappers. Now we need to match his power, which means we gotta use the summon spell. Because he's summoning an ancient, we gotta summon one too. Any summon will do. Tear and air attack, that's right. Bargain is the first one. Wait, what am I doing? I'm looking for my Gladius. So, we gotta go through all of these areas again. It should be slightly easier than the first time. Or not. Wait, I know what this is. You wanna trick me that there's a hole there. been there all along 
Okay. Pilot number two. Same comment as the brand. Oh, okay. So we had an IP switch right here. It will re reconnect in a moment. Don't worry. Here we go. We should be back. We should be back. Refresh chat. Yeah, it's back, it's back. Full speed. Hi! <laughs> oh, God, it forgot all the previous chat. Okay, that's new. Usually it would, you know, remember. Am I there, Carter? I I'm going to assume I'm, be I'm there. <laughs> okay, so we just want to escape. There's nothing here, really. Just fucking run. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. I don't know why it's not showing previous chat. It should, really. Okay. So I think I gotta summon these guys here. Or place them there. Attached to the monolith is a metal plaque inscribed with a symbol that looks curiously like a trapper. An Ulia trapper, no less. Oh, look at all the skeletons. It's beautiful. Trapper. It's funny saying trapper when Sasha and Milos are playing DVD right now. <laughs> So summon Trapper Ulia. Oh, those are the three that escaped during Edward's chapter. That's right. God, beautiful. Kind of like Blood Omen 1, a little. The metal plaque is mounted, a metal, a metal plaque is mounted on the monolith. It depicts a silhouette of a lumbering corpse, a zombie. Not a zombie chow, mind you, this is just a zombie. Summon zombie Chaturga. The demo. There you go.
Okay. And finally, last but definitely not the least, a Zelothet Horror. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, let's get him a horror. Oh shit, gotta refill my mana. Still not enough. Should be good now. I summon the horror. <laughs> Do with that what you will, brother. After a oh, this is our first horror summon in the game. I don't use this really when I have shotguns and swords. After a horror has been summoned, press A to attack enemies. Attacks can be targeted using R. Attack an enemy's head from far away to perform a shock attack. That's useful. Press start to release the control of horror. Horrors can open doors, but not pick up items. Yeah, too bad he's gotta go. She's not gonna comment on it, apparently. Alright. That was the third or fourth. Third, okay. Um. <clears throat> ah, oh, shit. I should have known. I brought the gun for a reason. Should have known one of those guys would be there. Do we need something? Maybe a little HP. I think it's time to bust out the shotgun. I don't use the shotgun with Alex ever. It's the Winchester. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. Finish it with a shotgun. Going all in here. to me I've never seen that happen like, ah I remember this one so if you run you're gonna awaken the worms I'm gonna show it You gotta have enough sanity and be outside of the, not stand on the, those purple things for it to go back to normal. More sanity? I guess full sanity. Give me a five. Bucket. Yeah, you gotta re fully restore sanity in order to pass this. That's right. Then you gotta sneak slowly, easily, very slowly, everybody down. The worm is in the ground. Slowly, easily. Keep it cool, man. 
There you go. But I do think there's a lever we need to pull. Is there? Nope. Just that. This time I'm sure there's no trappers. Shaturga. So we're gonna summon Chaturga to fight Zelfad. This is a dangerous game we're playing here. heard the ricochet sound. you buddy oh isn't that lovely well I got a trick of my own Hi there. Do I need to pull the lever? Or just escape? Nah, I think I just need to escape. I like how you can see how you blow their insides out with the revolver. Two of them here. Three of them. That's it, I think. The fuck am I now? All right. I always forget about this one. Doesn't look like you can climb here, but then you can. Charge! Made it! Trappers here. I guess I gotta attack each of them with a with a magical attack, I think.
So Uliot for it. Where's the magical attack? There we go. Wait, how do we get... Oh wait, it went to Zelothat first, right? So... Chaturga then it has to be. Nope. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna do a, a, I'm gonna do a fucking, there we go, green to blue, green to green, green to red. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Fuck it, here we go. I think it needs to be stronger, that's it, but yeah, we'll start with, uh, let's see what happens with this. Nothing. Even with all that. So if it goes in order. Start with him and Chaturga maybe. No. That's the wrong one. Well, let's see what happens. There you go. Needs to be a seven then. I mean, if it's red, green, blue. I gotta destroy them, but how? Do I just shoot them? We're gonna do a seven point. Wait, green. Yeah, there's the green. It goes Uli at first. Did I see that right? She's tired. I gotta cool it. Let's try with strong. But it's just the strongest. Huh. Just the strongest and the opposing ancient. Okay. Ah, this time I remembered. Second to last rune, tier air attack. There we go. The last one's gonna be a bargain. And that's it. A huge stone block, a stone block etched with bizarre etchings dominates the room. Is it art, a memorial, a tomb of the original inhabitants, or a bastardized interment of its loathsome conquerors? Yeah, we didn't check that with Edward. 
thanks for letting me redo that game now i gotta do this at the right stairs i think it's here yeah so two things first two four yeah seven first med spell magic seven points chaturga Then a shield. You can make it, come on. There you go, the last one's gone. <laughs> and the last rune, and we're ready for some serious damage. Oh shit, son. It's pretty good. We can see the whole city now. Well, the whole explorable city at least. And the house. This is the fullest map we'll get. So the city is basically just a little east of the house. Anything on this side? No. It is time for the ultimate spell. What if I do a Mantorog bind? Let's see what happens. Oh my god, those whispers are so loud. God. Oh, he's poisoning both of them. <laughs> there you go, one of them is dead. What if I do the most powerful magic attack now? Magic attack to magic attack. She's in excellent condition. Could have made dinner from it the way she chopped it. Just run this way. This should be it. It's the last part. What is this part here for? Ah, because that's where I chased that guardian, I remember now. Which rune? Mantarok and Uliot? Is that Uliot I'm seeing? Yeah, that's Uliot. I'll just run through that all the way there.
All right, it's time. Time for what? For the ultimate shield. That's what. Which I'm gonna shortcut right away. Yeah. Oh my god, the whispers. So loud. Alright, we should be ready for the final battle now. Let's fill some mana. Thanks, love. I'm still gonna walk slowly. Nope. Because it doesn't regenerate at all unless you're walking. Buggy, like the redeems. Ooh. Stretch before you kill a deity. That's what the wise man said. It is time. Wait, a little more mana. <laughs> it's probably Twitch's buggy. Nobody's surprised there, really. Here we go. 13 hours. Before you proceed, would you like to save your current progress? Well, yeah, I just did, but why not? Always listen to the game when it's offering a save. Here you go. It's time. Miserivus, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. Man, you're you a slow magician. I'm becoming the first morsel for my lady Zelatov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. Your race, you like, forget what yep. it means to be human, pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I years, have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> the end, indeed. Here we go. Here we go. You needed 2,000 years for that, my man? Welcome, Zelopat. This is her true form. Beyond the eye. Then I am putting my piece. There's Chaturga. He's the Chad of the Ancients. Very boring Ancient. Here we go. So we got it. It's a five point one, okay. Everybody, no magic, huh? Well, I can't finish the game without magic, man. It's unfinishable, right? We'll see. Maybe I don't need it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I need. I just need the Gladius. Yeah, I can do that. I, I accept your challenge. <laughs> Unless I need to do... Oh! There we go. Unless I need to do one of them. 
the spell field. Fuck your magic. Oh shit, he's actually pretty fast. I got that. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can, okay. She's tired though. Here we go, here we go. This is gonna make it easier. This is what they've been dying for. Nice. Show me where it is. Screw you, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay. Anthony. Remember old Anthony? As soon as he hits me, I, I go back to Alex, that's right. There you go. Rest. It's a very bad time to be out of stamina. Who's next? Kareem? Yep. But I didn't hit it. Fuck you. Ah, oh, ha ha. Wait, Kareem, it's your turn. Suck it, bias. No cursing, okay, I didn't even see that. I'm focused on this. Rest. But by the time he gets here, I should be fine. Enter my heart. I'm stronger at magic now. Max. Right, Max, it's your turn now. Oh shit. Hit you. Ah, oh, shit. Don't die. Come on, Max. Don't let me down. Shit, this camera angle is driving me nuts. Fuck you, Max is very slow, so 
it's very easy for Pius to outmaneuver and don't claw now kitty it's not the time it's never the time Like fucking do something! May the rats eat your eyes! Yeah! And now, pull. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, that was cheap! How, how the fuck did you miss that? How the fuck did you miss that? Oh, I'm gonna die now because I'm angry. Yep, I'm dead. Because I'm angry. All because I'm angry. God damn it. That was so cheap. I hit it. I totally had it. But it was like, nah. <sighs> what is it, kitty? Why do you have to do these things when it's clutchy? I can't move, I'm gonna die. You won't buy it. This is the first time ever Pi is gonna kill me. There you go. I've never actually seen this game over so let's see it. Oh! You actually get a cutscene. You spit on me. He spat at me. Shall be eternal. Oh, that's badass. What now? Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll 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 add it. Oh. The battle again. Here we go. Have to watch their dance again. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Rivers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began two thousand years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for yeah. my lady Zelatov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, Pius. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> the end indeed. All of them are unskippable, isn't that beautiful? I see now, the, the unskippable cutscenes don't bother me when I don't die. <laughs> but that's cool, it's like... I'm gonna say that's the fifth ending we got there. He won? Killed you.
Oh, he's just gonna nullify my... Let's wait for him to come to us. Fuck you, buddy! Charge! Takes your sanity away just ah oh, because he's aligned with Zelda. Here we go. Anthony's okay. He's not slow or anything. Well, hit him! He's right there. What the fuck do they do that? They 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 lock him on, and then when you hit, it still misses. Oof! Bastion. Okay, he's fast enough. Fuck you. Kareem's Kareem has the ram down, that's why. Ah, but that's why he hits like that. I don't have to hit him in the head, but it's like the easiest to actually hit. Hey John! Welcome, welcome man. You came just for the ending. Well, you missed two chapters, but we are gonna replay this twice more this October, so you're not gonna miss anything. Hey, Lagstorm! Hello! Alright. So, we're fighting Pius, finally, with all the... ...characters who fought the darkness over the years. They're actually coming to help as ghosts. She's totally insane now. Okay, it's Max's turn now, is it? Yeah. He's a little slow, but he can do it. Very hard to turn. Okay, now I gotta get there before he does. Yeah, it'll be okay now. Much better than last time. And still no magic harder. <laughs> okay. Alright, Paul, that's how that's as far as we got, I think. Ch 
chase me. Oh. Roberto, here we go. Ouch. Okay, never mind, we'll redo that. Oh, this is gonna be hard because he's as slow as Max. Oh, it's still there. Okay, I can see it. Ooh. So slow. Ah. Oh. No, no, don't let her hit you. Oh, you shouldn't have hit him. Come on. Damn, he's too slow for him. I gotta trick him somehow, maybe run around him. Yeah, it'll be done soon, senpai. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. Ah! Now we just gotta run to the artifact. Woo! Okay, I think Roberto is the last slow character, right? Alright. Oh, it's the last, last character. There you go. We did it. GG. Enjoy the ending, guys. Okay, so we finished the Zelda run. That's one out of three runs for the full ending. We, we, we summoned our own crab god to fight the cyclops, floating cyclops. Oh, it's not the end. Jeez, I forgot about this part. You gotta kill him now as you're fighting. Uh, premature celebration. Here we go. It's the final battle between Pius and Alex. No heals. Fuck you. I might have to heal because he's trying to get my sanity and sell that align, so oh, this could be tricky. Ah, oh, stop running. Why would you keep running? She's crazy. She's losing it. Kill me now. No, 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 no. Okay, I have to heal Carter. God damn it, stop listening to Carter. <laughs> Just fucking do it. Where's my heal? Let's think. Think? It's left. He will kill me. Oh, god damn it. Fuck you, buddy. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm dead. God damn it, twice in one? Really? No mana. Can't load. God damn it! Ugh. Twice. Really?
Yeah, I'll have to use. No redeems from this point. <laughs> this is the this is the worst. This is the worst run of bias I've ever had. Like ever. The first time I played it with Zelda it wasn't this. One more time. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. That's all I want. Yeah, I gotta play all those cutscenes again. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Ah, Miss Rovers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my lady Zelatov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, Pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the Ancients' essences. Now, Pious. This is the end! <laughs> the end indeed! God damn you, Pius. <laughs> now I can't quit because <laughs> we're at the end. You know, the pa most painful thing, I had no idea you can't skip these, I never had to. <laughs> Every time I having to watch them, like the, the, this entire thing, until I get, regain control. He's gonna take my things off. There we go. Right. Well, hit me, master. Did you get my whole sanity with one? Yep, with his magic. Come on, hit me. Hit me! You stop running, hit him in the face, run. Zoo! Is it time? There we go. So they're all gonna fight except for the Roivas. Max and and uh, Edward. Come on. 
Could be a pussy, Pius. God damn it, Pius. I'm gonna destroy you, boy. Yeah, I got him. And I, I uncloaked it. Okay, so that's what I can do. I can use the spell time. This is one of the easiest boss, final boss battles ever. I don't know how I'm losing. Probably because I'm not healing. I think that has something to do with it. Just have a annoying feeling. There it is. Now I'm... No! God damn it, that reach. That was personal now. Uh, it's right there, Alex. Right there. Sure, 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 sure. Oh. I shouldn't let him get to her specifically. Maybe behind his back. Just stop! The way he's just persistent! At least he stops, he's stun locked while I do this. Alright. Come on, Anthony, you didn't zombify for nothing. Okay, I see it. Shield would go a long way here. Ooh. Okay, first phase done. I feel like he's walking faster than he's running. Ah, oh, god damn you. You just want to slap him for good measure. Okay, with Max, you gotta be careful. Yeah. What the? I swear to God, game, you're not cooperating today. Yeah, I got one of those too. Gotta love how she aimed it. No! Fuck you. It's 
gonna be here now. Okay, he's the last one. He's gonna be the slowest. And then we gotta fight head on. One on one. Hmm, that swing. Should I go? Maybe I should go from the other side. Kinda thought he's swinging from the right, but I guess he's swinging from the left. Come on, cast the spell. Yeah! How the fuck? Are you... <laughs> I had it! It was right there! No cheating! What the fuck can I hit it? Oh, cause I gotta hit him. I gotta hit him first. Okay. You gotta cast a spell, Bias. I can't. I'm too slow for this. He's gonna stop to cast a spell eventually. Suck it, bitch! Oh. Oh, he's got a shield again. Okay. Oh, she's gonna teleport now. So much faster than him when I'm healthy, but when I'm not healthy... Casting one of those. Ah! Oh. oh, come on! He's gonna have to stop to cast the magic at one point. Come on! I know you will. I know you will. No, I don't want to do it again. God damn it! Come on! Do a magic! Do a magic! I need you to do a magic! Come on! I'm dead. I'm gonna keep at this until I do it. I think. I'm very, very annoyed now at this. I need a stronger heal. Thanks for pushing me. Ooh, I can do it. Come on. I have to heal. I'm sorry, Kara. I really wanted to do it without it. Come on, you can do it. Cast the magic. You can go on. Get magic. I'm so sorry that my <laughs> that my trying to live is inconveniencing you. Suck it. Yeah, she's not a tank like Michael or some other characters. Come on. He wants me to get in his face. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can't hit him through there. He can go through his own thing. I cannot. Oh, it's expired. Excellent. Excellent. I got you now. Oh. You can slap me once. That's going to be the last thing you do. Suck it. Oh. Where are you? Oh, in the face, no less. How much damage can you take, boy? Am I using the right Gladius? Yeah, I am. Did you just fake teleport? Tired. Physical attacks drain stamina. That's right. Oh, he's dying. Come on. Ooh, that hurt. There you go. He's almost dead, okay. I don't know why he's so hard this time around. You dead? Yeah, he's dead. Finish him! Okay, now it's really done. Jesus Christ. What a burn that was. Chaturga wins. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lagstorm. <laughs> uh... Thanks, guys. <laughs> I mean, like, for the exhaustion. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Yeah, I kept running. But... I don't know, Elia? The first girl? The first ghost girl? Because those are all characters I played with previously, right? Cool. That's what we that's what we caused. What have I done? There's Edward. Quickly, Alex! We must find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe. Okay, we gotta bind it. What was it? Protect, right? Protect. Ah, that's the ticket. Yeah. Bind it with Ulia. Because Ulia 
overpowers Chaturga. It is finally over, my dear. The ancients' plans are finished. For now, at least. Binded, huh? <laughs> you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality. To see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool. Okay, so that's one out of three done. I swear to God, this is one of the easiest boss battles in the history of final boss battles in the history of video gaming. At least it felt like that until tonight. Like even the first time I played this, I didn't die. I never died at Pius. What the fuck was that? You overcome the darkness that has prevailed for over two millennia. This accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, would you like to record this grand occasion in the pages of human history? Yes. And we do this because next time we start a new game, it's going to know what we did here. So basically we're playing in three different timelines. I think that was Dennis Dyack's father, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, of course not. <laughs> That's the only game over that actually has something different. Because every every other every other place in the game you die, it just shows you like the you know the darkness one. But in uh, what's going on there with the heater? <laughs> but in the in, in this place, there's this, there's that whole, like, it's not a cutscene, it is a cutscene, I guess, he spat, it, spat on her, I love that, <laughs> that was worth it, like, that, just seeing Pius spit on Alex was worth it, <laughs> um, or what's the next playthrough gonna be, I, I'm gonna say Chaturga, yeah, Chaturga, because we're gonna be summoning a lot of Uliad stuff in Chaturga's playthrough, right, red, green, blue, blue goes red, yep, Oh boy, well that was it, that was Eternal Darkness and it's Requiem Zelotot storyline, timeline, I guess. What can I say? <laughs> that already hasn't been said, such as, oh my fucking god, he's killing me and I'm gonna die. And what was it? I'm gonna die because I'm angry, was that it? Yeah, I'm gonna die because I'm angry. That bit. I gotta save that. <laughs> here we go. We got it. Thanks for being here, guys. All of you there. I know John and Lupka is probably... Both are gonna <laughs> fall asleep soon. Carter? Well, Carter, too. So, thanks, everyone. Lagstorm, zombie. If I didn't mention anyone, forgive me. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're finishing um, Resident Evil for the Saturn, and then next thing Thursday, if all goes well. Till next time, everyone. Bye.
Oh yeah, let's see if we can raid someone. Hold on. Never mind, I can't raid. The Twitch is kind of broken. I don't know what's it doing right now. Nope, nothing's happening. 